Well, you're about to meet a man whose goal is to change the world from Albany, Georgia. He's well on his way, along with 1,200 volunteers and one professional film crew. Here's what they've accomplished so far. When a church in Albany, Georgia released the film Facing the Giants, nobody expected it to become such a success. It was produced on a shoestring budget by Sherwood Pictures with over 500 volunteers, but drew more than $10 million in box office receipts. Fireproof is the latest feature film from Sherwood Pictures, the movie-making ministry of Sherwood Baptist Church. The film stars Kirk Cameron. Help me! Please help me! I can't get out! Listen, we're gonna get you out of here. You're gonna be just fine, all right? Please welcome to the 700 Club the executive producer of Fireproof, Michael Catt, along with the movie's writer and co-producer, Stephen Kendrick. It's great Thank to have you. both of you with us. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I think everybody here is ready to leave for the theater so they can see this. Before we talk about the new, uh, the new film, Fireproof, let's go back just a moment to Facing the Giants. When you made that, did you have any idea it would be the runaway hit that it was? No, not at all. We, we were hoping that we would get it in about 12 theaters. That was our dream. That uh, we had, uh, Flywheel had been in our, our local theater, and then we were hoping that Facing the Giants would get in 12. So when Sony and Provident picked it up, it was a big surprise to us. Boy, I guess so. And a, an amazing surprise to the industry that you could make a film of that caliber on what was your budget, $100,000 or That's something? That's right. We, no, we used all volunteers. We had no budget money to start with, no training, no experience. And, wow. But we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And so with Amen. a whole lot of prayer, the Lord came in and did more than we can ask or imagine through it. Amen. Well, talk about Fireproof, the new release. Well, Fireproof uh, is about a firefighter and his wife. They are neither one are believers. They're headed toward divorce. And uh, because of that, they come to crisis points. They're just, I'm not going to give away the whole story, but, <laughs> but uh, it, it's about how to rebuild that relationship. And uh, the dad comes in to the son's life and says, I want you to read something. It's called The Love Dare, which uh, Stephen and Alex have actually written a 40 day journey to go through to try to win your wife or your husband back. But at the same time, it's not just about, I'm trying to fix my wife or trying to fix my husband. It's really about, I need to fix me. Mm -hmm. And if I get myself right with God, wow. then that's the ultimate issue I've got to deal with. Yeah. Michael, what made your church, what made you decide to begin producing and, and creating movies? Well, we... Uh, Not on every church's agenda. No, right. no, and it wasn't on mine originally. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we say that uh, nobody ever heard of Bethlehem until Jesus showed up. Yeah. And uh, nobody knows where Albany, Georgia is. We've got one gate at our airport. We're always number one for takeoff. <laughs> uh, hey, I so, kind of like that. I don't know. I could live with that. <laughs> but uh, Alex came on staff in 1999. And we were having a conversation about, you know, what do you want to do with your life? And he said, you know, I'd like to make movies. I would love to make Christian movies, but I don't think that I could work on a church staff and do that. And I said, why not? Bring me a script and bring me a budget. And that's how we started Flywheel, which we did with $20,000. Never raised any money, never took an offering, just said to the church, here's the vision, here's the cost. If God wants us to do it, he'll provide it. Mm -hmm. And that's how it all came. Well, one of the ways that this has worked is that you have such an incredible group of volunteers. I mean, could you do this without the volunteers, Stephen? No, ma'am. Uh, the Lord uh, has united our church. Uh, we're unified, and Scripture says in Psalm 133 that God commands His blessing to fall where brethren dwell together in unity. And we have a praying church. Michael, when he came, established a very strong prayer ministry, and they pray through every stage of the journey, when we're writing, when we're casting, and even through distribution, the, the church is praying that the Lord will use it and be glorified through it among the nations. Wow. So. What what did it cost you to make this one, Fireproof? This one uh, was about $500,000 production budget and about that same amount to do the post-production. Uh, but it's still tiny compared to Hollywood standards. Oh my goodness, uh, yes. But the, the, yeah. we're, we're asking God to impact marriages all over the world through this. Facing the Giants is now in 56 countries and 13 languages. Thousands of people have come to Christ through the movie. And it's, it's really a modern day five loaves and two fish story that we are seeing the Lord take our little feeble efforts, but dedicated to His glory, He's doing so much more with it than well, we could. And you've got a, a big name with you this time, Kirk. Yeah. 
Yes. Cameron yeah. is with you. How did he get involved with all of this? Well, uh, that's it's kind of uh, Alex Kendrick and Jim McBride, who's our executive pastor, and I were actually traveling to Denver to screen Facing the Giants. And I saw Kirk Cameron in the food court in Atlanta, and I'm one of those kind of people, well, they'll never remember me, but I'll just go up and introduce myself. And they'll say, some guy bugged me in the airport. <laughs> uh, but we had a screener copy of Facing the Giants. Kirk took it, watched it on the plane with his son, and then uh, called Stephen and Alex afterwards and said, you know, if there's ever a way I could be a part of your movies, I would love to. Uh, the, the thing was, we did not go into this thinking we were going to cast Kirk. Mm -hmm. In fact, we had cast the Catherine lead and cast almost every other lead mm -hmm. uh, except for that role. And three weeks before we started shooting, uh, we called him and asked him to fly to Albany, Georgia to audition for the Three movie. Three weeks before. <laughs> Boy, y'all are men of faith. <laughs> That's amazing. What was the biggest challenge of making Fireproof? I think the every scene is a challenge because it required, you know, uh, volunteers to help produce it. Um, a big thing for us was uh, asking the Lord to give us a storyline that would impact the culture. Mm -hmm. And that's what we prayed for for months. And he led us to the issue of marriage and that marriage should be held up as a picture of Christ and his bride, the church. And, uh, and it, even in the church, marriages are falling apart. And so um, our church members begin to pray for that. And the Lord began us to lead us to that storyline of presenting marriage as a covenant, not a contract. It's based upon unconditional love that only comes from God. As we're tapped into Christ, He begins to pour out His love in our hearts. And so we're, at, we're asking the Lord to impact the divorce statistics and to help prepare His bride for His return. And wow. So, What's next? We don't know. <laughs> Hopefully sleeping in our own beds for a while. I'll, I'll bet. I'll bet. You, I'm sure you have been in your share of but, hotels. But, you know, we have met this. wonderful people across the country. Mm -hmm. And, and if it, you know, the body of Christ is an incredible thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, when they sense in their heart that there's something that they want to support and that's something that they believe in, we have met people from all walks of life that have been a blessing to us. Well, support this with prayer, but also support it by going to the theater when it's in your area. We want to mention that Fireproof actually opens on September the 26th. Yes, Is that right? And there will be various areas of the country where the it will be shown in theater. So to find the nearest theater to you, simply go to CBN.com and we'll connect you with that information. We will be praying with you and for you and believing God for a really powerful Thank effect you, from this. Thank, Thank you, you for all much. that you're doing. It's Thank very you. exciting. Thank you. Very exciting. Exciting. Well, when we come back, Pat takes the hot seat. I've warmed it up for him, but he's going to come sit over here. We're going to bring it on with questions from our studio audience right after this. Stay with us. Thank you. Very much.